All right, good morning, everyone. We are opening round Thursday. We are going to get going right away here with Smash. We're going to play a big topper on hole one and hopefully get down to one of our yardages. Some of these holes, and I, I believe this will be one of them, plays a little tougher for this account, having the lower level clubs. So I'm putting, I think, yellow ring to rough there, if I remember right. And we've got 3-2. Uh, I'm going to say that wind's about a plus 5 wind. And I'm in the, uh, more in the mid range here by the time I pull. So I'm going to play at one ring. <clears throat> and about half a ball of curl. Is this the Cindy dude invasion? Cindy and the dude? <laughs> While I'm doing my video. <clears throat> dude, out. 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 Now I missed my yardage. The Cindy dude invasion interrupting Tournament Thursday. I thought you'd enjoy me being in here. Well, Big usually, shot. except for the cat. It's annoying. <clears throat> So, not off to a good start. We missed our yardage here, which is important. So, I'm going to guess how close I am to the bush there that I'm going to be about 329, I'm going to say. So, what's that? That's 329 max plus 0.3. So, 4 to. <clears throat> um, fuck's sake. Four two max plus point three is three point nine. All the right three back. Well, one time here. Fucking too much. Perfect shot. I'm gonna go a little left. I think I over pulled it. Alright, so we squeeze that one out somehow out of our ass. <clears throat> okay, so for hole two, we are doing backbone, we're doing plus 20, blue ring to rough, and then we'll, uh, we'll line it up from there. So I think with this backbone, uh, well maybe I got an upgrade, I can't remember now. <clears throat> Okay, so we're using Marlin blue run or blue uh, ring there to rub <clears throat> four and a half back, which is almost everything on this one. <clears throat> right at the hole. And now I'm gonna add half a left. This shot I've been playing I played at the beginning and it wasn't going in for me. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back to it. These are the uh, Tommy Tommy shot notes here. Perfect shot. And still, 
Like, it's not even close. It's so far That's away. Up. Oh, you know what I did? That's my fault. I pulled 3-1, and it's 2-1. Ah, oh, okay, next. I think, to be honest, though, this looks like more than a ring left. This is going to be a key, key shot. Um, you know, a must-make for, for the final round. So we got to get this one dialed in. It, I was going left as well. Um, in the, I think it was the first three rounds that I played, I tried this shot and I kept going a little left and then I went away from it. So we got to find something that's going to go in every time because this that shot should go in every time. <clears throat> so I can, I also see what I did here is I adjusted with a power three ball adjustment. So that was an over pull too. So get our shit out of the way here. Uh, get our morning Starbucks in and get better. So. This next hole, on um, this one, I believe I got to play with the big dog. <clears throat> and I'm going to play with a Titan. So hopefully we got the, uh, the crap out. At least we got the drop on one to make up for the drop on two. <clears throat> Get our big dog ready for our second shot there. a hard shot for us. I wonder if it might be easier to go up there with this guy. Anyway, we're going to try and be about there. So, 3-7. It's 1-6. Just a touch of OP. I'm just going to just a little bit. Make up for that half a ring I wanted. Ooh, see, it just gets over with this club. Okay, so, let's see, if what I'm, my notes are saying are two up, but I think I'm further back than I normally have been. too far. I don't mind being a little short here. It's going to be always a tough shot for us. So I think I'm going to try this time maybe three up because I'm so far back. Maybe a little, uh, I'll go two and a half from this distance here. So two, three, up in there is one. And we'll give this a shot. Okay, so all in all, not bad. I don't mind being there as opposed to skipping through and into the rough. So I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna go back after this. I'll look at the replay, see my yardage, and know that I need three topspin next time. <clears throat> okay, and the way I like to play this chip is uh, closer to the hole with backspin, and you'll see see like that, and the ball guide will loosen up a bit for you as opposed to coming in so hot, and I'll just go right at it this way. This is what's always worked for me on this hole. Sometimes with that long ball guide, you can come in a little hot, or if you hit great right, it'll give you a, a ring around the hole. Okay, so for hole number four, we're going to play uh, Guardian. <clears throat> and my notes are saying red to rough, four down, two left. Um, then I've got that crossed out four and a half down two left. Yeah, I think I went a little deep with four down. I tried this on my better um, accounts with a sniper that had four backspin. I think it was a sniper seven. And four back was still a little hot. So I'm going to go back to the Guardian. It might even be closer to five back. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> But we'll try on this one, the four and a half back. This this will be, you know, if we could dial this one in, just to get it once out of the two would be just huge. <clears throat> a 
Okay, so we're playing max with arrow. So three, four, the arrow's in about this position here. So that'll be two, two. Red ring to rough. Four and a half down, two left. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna aim on the corner there of that column beside the hole, something like that. Give this a roll. <clears throat> Looks like our wind angles changed here when we moved it around as well, unfortunately. So I'm actually going to play 2 1 then, because <clears throat> the angle seemed to be more straight there. <clears throat> okay, so that's pretty close. So. Still a little high, eh? so I think I might go back to, um, let's see, I'm going to go back to the five, five back, five back, two left, mm -mm. and I'm going to go one and a half columns next time, mm -hmm. half columns left, we'll try that on the next one. If we get this one down, like even where it's just, you know, has a shot at going in, I think... This would be a big time uh, extra to get. Okay, so for hole five, we're going to uh, try and get out an extra mile as far as we can. I've got the Goliath in the bag, just in case, and um, and a Hornet. So I've got a Thorn three and a Hornet four. The Thorn three, in case I need topspin, won't be enough. So I've got the Hornet in for this one. Um, and the Goliath I've got in just in case I'm back too far. I'm going right in rookie. I would prefer to go left, but I, the wind and the, the lower level clubs, I just can't seem to get it into a spot on the left I want. The drop is much easier from the left if you have a, a shot to the left. The other shot that I played, uh, I think in the first round here, was a, a big topper from the right and, and going down. But I think this will be a little easier. But if you don't have a better ball, uh, then you can do that. So I'm going to try and, so that's about on this club, that's one, two, almost three rings OP. <clears throat> okay, so I want to be about there. So four, two with the wind arrow is about one, seven. And then I need, I'm going to play a touch of curl, not too much. And then three rings OP is somewhere in about there. And ultimately we want to be in that shadow if we can. That's our spot. So let's see here. Get out. Okay, so good. So let's write this yardage down. So 347. So we dropped from 349. So we're two. So we're going to play... Uh, 98% minus 0.3, so it should be the same number as max, I would believe. So my number at, at my drop was 349 with this little hornet, um, max minus 0.3. <clears throat> All right, our guy went in the water. Let's see if we can save him. So 29 at 98, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same. No, it's 24. Okay, minus 0.3 is going to be 2.1. Or no, I'm further away. What am I talking about? <clears throat> yeah, no, we'll, we'll play it. Uh, we'll play it 2-2. Two, two. Okay, so let's see here. Max right, I think a little top is what we wanted. Right in there. And 2-2. Two, two. Fucking in the fucking time. Oh, Jesus Christ. Didn't even notice the clock again. I'm so terrible with that stuff. <clears throat> so if, if I hit that perfect, I got 100%, I think, accuracy on this or close to it. Maybe it's or just a high percentage. That might have went in. Might have went in. It takes the speed off when you hit it great. But was the angle right is the question. 
I'm usually, you know, I'm always last second when I hit the ball, but I don't know what it is with this hole. I get so into the shot and I've timed out twice on this shot and then both times I timed out, drilled it on the, uh, the second attempt to save it. Uh, I actually almost would rather time out to get the practice in. Okay. Okay, so for hole six, uh, we're going to play big topper to 10 <clears throat> and see if we can get it down somewhere around 365. Seems to be our good spot. So the big topper shot here. So we're going to just three, four with wind arrow. We're almost into max there. With this, this big topper. So I'm going to give it full top and the little right that I can give it. About one and a bit of a click. I'm going to put yellow ring to rough. I'm going to come over a little bit. I want to aim straight down the middle there. And uh, we'll play it about one, uh, one three or one two. It doesn't matter. I think the one two, I'll give it a little more oomph. <clears throat> Good angle down the right side here so let's write this down so that's 360 okay so from let's see I played it from 361 which was one to one so this should be about the same but one to one maybe plus point one so 360 was one to one okay so Let's see here. On a sniper, what is one to one? So if we went ten. Ten on a sniper. Let's see. Plus ten is not one to one. Plus five is almost one to one. Can't really get a one to one on this sniper. <clears throat> so we'll play. We'll just play it one to one on this one. Okay. And the notes that I have here are. I've sunk it with two and a half back and with three back. <coughs> I think I'll go on this club with the three back. So I, I there's my min. See, I have a feeling because I was down that right side that I might be a little closer than usual. Well, I can only play a two and a half back anyway. Okay, so we'll play two and a half back. We'll play a sliver right to offset. Try the three eight. I think this is too much. Maybe I'll... I think I went further down the right side of the fairway more than one. We will see. I think with this club, because it's such a lower, I don't have the three backspin. I think that's why I had a, I had a little asterisk beside this one. I think I have to bring it back and just miss that, that rough, because that's coming in a little hot. That's normally where I would land, um, but I would have a better ball guide. I also went a bit left there too, um, and I was aiming left edge on purpose because that's what my note said. So with the lower level. Uh, the lower level sniper, um, that's going to be a tough shot. So I think just getting it over the rough with that backspin is probably the play. The, I did nail it on this account, though, with that spin from 368. So who knows? <clears throat> we will try and get it dialed in. A little easier with the better sniper, for sure. Okay, so for hole seven, we're playing my shot. Bounce over shot. <clears throat> a little harder with this account because I think I have a Goliath 3 or 4 or something, not much ball guide. 
this guy played the direct rough bump. I, I just don't recommend that shot. It's just not consistent. I don't. Okay, so we're going to go as much left as we can and about, about five and a half top. <clears throat> Somewhere, we don't have a ball guide. So my notes say about a yard right of this bunker. And I'm going to put red ring to rough and we'll, we will try from there. So I'm playing uh, with wind arrow. So three, six, that way. Min plus point one, so I'm playing at one point one. Something like that. Might have pulled a touch too much there. Perfect shot. It's all about see without the ball guide, it's hard to get that angle. So I think. I think on this account, I might have to play six, play that same, if I played that same one with six topspin, I might have pulled like just a touch too much there too, which would affect it. <clears throat> Our guy just missed a putt, that's no good. So we'll go on to hole number eight. <clears throat> okay, so for this hole I'm using a navigator. <clears throat> I'm using a quarterback and I'm just going to try and get it down to the end of the near the end of the fairway and on this account I'm not going to go after the rough bump on the other accounts I'm playing the rough bump which has a pretty good chance this one here I, I just don't I might look at the rough bump but I just don't think I have enough ball guide um, I might take a peek at it I, I think it's the best way to try and drop it okay so if I believe right on this account I've got to play so the two I've only got two batspin so I'm just going to aim down the middle. I'm going to play uh, 3.2 with wind arrow, <clears throat> which is about one to one. I'm going to pull it back to my max, so it's just straighten out my line here. Pull it back into max. And I think on this one, I just play a touch. See the triangles on the bottom? I'm just going to be a little into the triangles. I think that's right on this one. <clears throat> the last thing you want to do is go too far. So that looks, that's just about perfect. So we'll write this distance down, 312. Okay, so this shot we're playing at plus 40. Can I see if I had a Goliath, maybe next time I will try on this account. But just that Goliath 3 has just no ball guide. So here, I'm not sure, I'm guessing a bit. Um, Remember. So let's see, we're gonna go sort of right at it. I'm gonna play more. I'm gonna play one and a half, three back, one and a half right, and let it sort of do it. I'm gonna aim a bit right at the pin there. So something like that. <clears throat> so four four at plus forty into not quite into max. I'll play it about three two maybe. So we offset about a green square with one and a half right spin. Okay, so next time, if I have to play this shot with bounce over, two green squares offset, one and a half right spin. <clears throat> so the reason it, it goes left like that um, is the wind effect you're so high up in the in elevation there that that wind by the time it finally does bounce it's really coming in at our right to left there <laughs> okay refilling the coffee thinking about this uh this second shot the second shot is the concerning one <clears throat> let's see what i have i have some of these balls i think i might try this one the power five and it's it's about the second shot, not the first one. <clears throat> Double Starbucks to start the day. Usually I start with a weaker coffee and then get into the Starbucks, but after uh, the way this fucking round started, I think uh, 
Starbucks is in order. All right. Okay, so our opponent went left. I don't recommend going left here at all. <clears throat> okay, so we're trying this guy out. I'm going to play a uh, power three ball adjustment. I could probably blow this over with backspin, but uh, I don't think that's going to help me at all. So I'm playing a power three adjustment because that's what I would normally be hitting here, is max with arrow with a power three. Um, I'm going to get it up just over the rough there, roughly. I'm going to play a little, little left curl. This shot has been my nemesis. I don't know why, but I just seem to always save my great lefts into the bunker on this hole. So we'll try this. Well, I don't want, yeah, four is what I want. Just a little left curl. Perfect shot. Finally hit perfect. I've been hitting great left all the time on this and going into the bunker. Okay, so let's write this yardage down. <clears throat> 324. Okay, so 324. <clears throat> okay, so my notes say from 322, I played two and a half top max with arrow. Max with arrow, two and a half. Okay. Okay, so now I did change my app to power five ball. That's my max. Two and a, well, let's see, what if we, yeah, I don't like that. So no ball guide, so I'm going to just trust my notes that it's about two and a half top. <clears throat> I'm just going to try and line it up somehow here. Let's see that. Maybe go, let's try two right, two and a half top. I'm trying to straighten out my ball guide. Bring it back, one and a half and two and a half. That looks about more right. So four zero straight up is about I'm gonna play it about four seven. Perfect shot. Let's see what happens here. We just it's just about the weight. That's too hot. <clears throat> okay, so let's change that. So that's a tough shot for this account. I think we came in a touch right there too. So from 324, power five, we're gonna change that to two top and one right. <clears throat> and I'm gonna offset. I'm gonna aim a aim little left. Great shot. Okay, and we'll see how that works out. <clears throat> okay, so back to hole number one. Big topper shot. <clears throat> katana ball. And the katana ball is mostly, uh, it's just for the second shot. Um, I just, I like that Max Wright spin shot. It, it's gone in now, I think three in a row from Rookie. So we're gonna stick with that. <clears throat> and so all the top you can. I start with the max right spin and then to the top so it'll stay as much right spin as I can. Yellow uh, ring sort of to rough line here. Uh, we're going 2-5, sort of in that direction. We're not into the max, more of a mid. So not much of a, not much of an adjustment here anyway. So 0.8. Good amount of curl. You have to be careful on those curl shots not to overpower. I almost overpowered there. Okay, so this time we can write this down. So 330. <clears throat> okay, so 330. So from 329, I was max right three down plus 0 0.3, 3.32 has plus 0 0.2. So I think I'll go with the, let's see, 3.31, 3.30. Hmm. 
So we're sort of, we're right in between. Uh, so 330 is one yard closer. <clears throat> So I'll play, Great I'll shot. put in 98% in case that changes. Plus 0.3. <clears throat> so let's see here. So we'll get our Hornet in. 4-1 at 98% is the same. Okay, so we're going to play at uh, plus point. We're going to play at 3.7. All the right, 3 back. Something like that. Looks like that's pretty lined up. And three seven. Okay. Perfect shot. That looks like it's missing. Okay, but still pretty close. I, you know, I don't expect to get this hole every time, um, but we're we're all over it. So, it so where I've dropped this from is three thirty one, three thirty two, three twenty nine. So that's the first time I missed, and it looks like I quite didn't pull enough on that one, um, but it was closer to the hole. So that I, I still like those adjustments. So three twenty nine, three thirty one, and three thirty two. Now, at, just for your notes, at 329, I pulled max plus 0.3. At 332, it was plus 0.2. And at 331, it was plus 0.2. <clears throat> so I'm going to write Great down, because so this must be, because I actually aimed a, missed a little left, um, would still be the plus 0.3. Nice so shot. max 330 is max plus 0.3. Okay. I've had three guys miss putts against me now. It's sort of strange. Okay, so uh, we'll try this again. I s totally screwed up the adjustment last time. So we're playing Marlin. Make sure our app is on power zero. Um, backbone plus 20. <clears throat> Make sure we're in order here. Just went too fast last time. Didn't have my stuff in properly. So we'll try this, uh, the Tommy shot again here. <clears throat> I'm still not, uh, not convinced on this one until we get some drops. So it's really important to be, to be able to, uh, to get this one. So that's four and a half. We're playing blue ring to rough. So we're completely lined up there, as you can see. Let's see here, maybe a touch more left like that. Okay, now 3.7 at max plus 20 is 2.3. We are now going to add our half a left. <clears throat> and So that looked like a good adjustment to me. There we go. Ring around the rosy. So I don't like how hot it came in, um, but we'll take it. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to try something uh, different um, that I meant to do today and I had forgotten until now. Is on this whole, uh, this whole three. I'm going to try a horizon. And I've got that 4-1. I lose a little yards um, in distance, but I get that ball guide. Um, I think this might be the right play. So we'll try on this account, we'll try this with a Titan. I think on Sunday I, I may pull out a power five ball. And the only reason for that is, is for that second shot to have a nice look at the hole with a, a power five. There should be no overpower or extra spin or anything. So we'll give this a shot. Um, <clears throat> I screwed up. I forgot to hit my pin chest earlier. 
got a those pin chests you should be able to get if you're not playing the account get one the first nine and get a second one on the second nine so i probably won't be able to fill that up now but um, so we're going to be playing an extra mile and we'll get our horizon ready with a power three bump okay so we'll play max and max i try to get it left if i can to get a better angle at the pin so again that's about just a touch of overpower to get to our spot four one <clears throat> Just a touch of overpower for this club because I only got the four topspin. <clears throat> See, that guy just, with that spin, just clears that rub, so. Okay, we'll go to the, the next. Okay, so, <clears throat> let's see what this line is. I'm kind of curious here. See, I just, I don't like playing that much spin. So, let's see what, how many rings over power is. That looks like sort of where I want to be in there. So that's three and a half rings over power. So we're gonna go four one with wind arrow. It's 1.8. So we need three rings of over. I'm not gonna play quite that much. Let's see here. I'm gonna just try and play under the blue. See how this works out. Yeah, it's not too hot. See, that's what I'm trying to avoid. Slow down. See, if that goes in the rough, you're uh, now you got to hit perfect probably to put it in. So we do not want that. So, um, so my ball guide for the horizon was just so I, I don't know how many. I think four tops. Been you, you, that certainly seems like too much to me. Um, but my ball guide was showing just on the front of the green and played the overpower for that amount of rings and that was way too much. So I would say that was three rings of OP at wide. So if I had to do that again, I would try one now. So whatever it's asking you to do, maybe go two less. And we'll start with that for a reference. The line was pretty good. If I came in, you know, on a, um, if I came in there with the right weight, uh, would have had a chance there. <clears throat> Probably should always just dunk the shot, it's easier. Perfect shot. Okay, so hole four. This time I, I put a quasar in. I don't need the extra uh, spin. And uh, we'll give it another go at this. So we're going to be playing a Guardian <clears throat> with a power one ball. We'll try it this time. And let's see here. So three one with arrow. I have to change if I don't have enough. Uh, it should be okay. So we're going to go red ring to rough. We're going to go five back this time, I think we said. Yeah, five back, two left, and one and a half columns. So let's try right in, in there this time. So three, one. I'm going to play, see that wind fools you at the beginning. I'll play at the 1-8 anyway. I have a feeling it's more like a 1-7. Okay, we're sort of in overpower there, so we're going to have to play a touch of overpower. I, that's why I had the katana in, so I've got, a, I've got a mark down. It needs to be a katana. Okay, so we're getting closer on this one. Okay, so let's change that now. Um, so this needs to be katana. So I'm gonna circle that because you just need that little extra power, power two. Um, 
Okay, so yeah, so you need a, well, maybe, I have a Guardian 3, so if you have a Guardian 5 or 6, you might be able to use a Katana or whatever it is. Okay, so I'm going to change that now, not to one and a half, I'm going to go, I'm going to go two and a half, we'll try and overplay, I think it, maybe two will be closer, but next time I'm going to try and overplay it to see if I can end up on the right edge, and then we'll know we're, we're right in the zone. I think the five backspin looked really good though. So we're, we're getting this one. This would be a, a huge drop to get this one. Everything else looks like a pretty good landing spot there. <clears throat> okay, so this hole here, let's see if we can do a little better here. We ran so low on time last time. So I'm gonna all the right, or all the left, all the top, all I can. <clears throat> right down the middle there. So that's about two ring so P, I guess. Did I play? I might have played a Titan here last time. Anyway. So 39 is about 1 5. <clears throat> I think I should. This account, I think next time I, I should be playing a, a Titan, I think. So I don't have to overpower. If you've got them, if you don't have them, this is fine. So playing with the rough there a little bit. So let's see what this is. So 347. That's way out there, I think. Oh no, it's not. Okay, so 347. That's where we were last time. Okay, so 347 is uh, max minus 0.3. So we might go max minus 0.2 because we're a little further away. We'll see here. See what it looks like. Although I did go down the left more, which makes me closer to the hole as well. So yeah, I think I'll try max minus 0.3. If that makes sense, my ball is on the left edge, which makes it a touch closer to the hole than if I had it went down the middle at 347, which would technically be a touch further. Um, yeah, so I'll, I think I'll play this like as if I was at the 348, 349. <clears throat> So we'll get our, our Hornet ready. And everyone's blowing up against me today. I've got all these missed putts. Fourth missed putt on the last hole. Okay, so we're gonna go all the left. We can, oh, what's going on here? I've got the fucking thorn in. You gotta be kidding me. How did that happen? I didn't change fucking clubs. Oh, heartbreaking. Completely fucking heartbreaking. We're gonna go for the dunk. That's just, Completely heartbreaking. So where are we here? We're almost in the max. Fucking A, man. Okay, so let's see here. So 4 0 with a thorn. Fucking right, man. 4 0. I'm almost in max. I'm going to play it about 1 7. That's fucking disappointing as fuck. Because this hole is just like, it's gonna, you should be able to make it. Great left. Great Fucking right, man. Bullshit. Because I know I'm going to make that shot more than I'm going to miss on that rough one. I have no idea how the thorn got in there. I must have grabbed the wrong bag by accident. Fuck. Not sure I've seen that at all. The guy went into the water three times. I don't think he's got that hole down. All right. Fuck. Actually, I should take a quick look here. How the hell did a thorn... What bag? So I was on bag one, and so did I... I must have played this other bag last time, bag two, somehow. So let's change that now before that fucking happens again. What's this one on? They're all on Hornet now? Okay. So that's good. <clears throat> oh, man. Okay, so um, this is our big topper hole. <clears throat> And uh, Katana, here we go. Once Sunday rolls around, can't afford those little mistakes. Although I don't think the dunk is the worst shot there, but uh, anyway. It's the other one is that Hornet shot I've been making, so. So 
yellow line sort of on the rough line. If you don't feel comfy with that, you can play out a little further. You know, if you're scared, you're going to hit great. You know, and then just play like a touch of curl to offset, you know, in case you, you do hit a great right. Like you can see there, if I hit a great right, it's something bad will happen. So, you know, if you're worried about that, you can play a little further out left and, and then just compensate with a touch of curl right. <clears throat> okay, so there's our max. Closer to max. So this time, we're gonna do a slice of right to uh, offset. We're going to try and just miss the, the line, this, the rough line this time, because we're going a little hot in there with only the two and a half spin. Try and line it up as best we can here. I think I said a little offset left this time, so let's let's try it that way. Two six with air. Oh no, we're just going to play it one to one. So two six ish. <clears throat> Uh, so let's see this weight anyway the weight's good so we like that weight so we just want to just get it with a this I guess any sniper two and a half spin if you're just missing the rough looks like the right weight I like on my other accounts I have three backspin and then you can go a little uh, a little more over that bump so if you have a lower level sniper like me just over that rough line with two and a half spin looks right I think that might have been pretty close if I hit it perfect Okay, so hole seven, uh, we're gonna play <clears throat> uh, Katana. We are gonna play Goliath. And this time we're gonna play six topspin. I think on this account, just cause I don't have the ball guide, I'm, it's just a weird lineup. Uh, okay, so we're playing um, all the left. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna try six. Let's try something that looks like that. Half the red in the rough. See, it's just a, it's just a guess. So we're uh, three half with the wind arrow, sort of in that direction, and we're min plus point one. So we'll go one point one. I have a feeling this is going to blow by the hole this time, but anyway, we're totally guessing on this account where this is going to go. Still didn't get out there, eh? So, well, um, so that line, I really like that line. So I think we gotta go six and a half on that line. You, you know, I'm, I'm just a touch right of that bunker and that time I was over it. So next time I'm gonna try six and a half with smash six and a half top max left Great shot. over bunker I'll try and go right over the bunker next time and see if we can get it out the problem is we're not getting nice it out shot. far enough so it can come down at the hole we're always right of the hole that's sort of the issue there <laughs> Okay, so for 17, we're going to change, so the quarterback, we're going to put the uh, Goliath in here, see if we can play a rough bump. This Goliath, what does it have? It's got 2.9 ball guide. So that's something to keep in mind. We're going to go Navigator. <clears throat> See? 
see if we if we'll take one shot at a rough bump here. If not, then we'll have to go back to that back one. I, I'm not sure how comfortable I feel with the rough bump with this shitty club, but we're gonna qualify, so it's uh, worth taking a look at. So we're just gonna aim down the middle, you know, somewhere in that area, two six. <clears throat> win like that roughly so I can just remember that now that this is about a one to one okay so somewhere in about there pull it up to max which is just about a yard or two and then on this low level one because I only have two dark bars top spin I'm just gonna play into the triangles a little bit on the bottom for just a touch of OP shot. which is important to get on this one to get lower down um, you know without risking going too far so we can get into that rough one so with the Goliath I sh so 311 I'm a little further back hopefully I can reach okay so Goliath plus 40 now from a little uh, closer I was max plus 40 so I might play this um, what am I doing there rough bump See, the ball guide is so shit. I think it was one down and one right. So we'll try that and go at it this way. See, that that's why this shot's shit. It's because I just, just don't have a ball guide for this shot. So I'll try that, 2.8. So I'm going to play max plus 0.1. So I'm going to play 1.6. The wind angle here, you know is the best for the rough bump because I'm even if I go great I shouldn't miss the rough you know, if, you're, if your adjustments a bit off it should still hit the rough here oh here we go oh okay so we're close so we'll play that from now on so that was uh, one back one right so the weight was pretty good so one one back one right with smash <clears throat> and I'll aim right edge we'll see if that works for next time <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna try something different on 18 now uh, I'm gonna go with the horizon as well on this one the horizon actually has a better ball guide than my lower level sniper and I'm gonna play in between I'll play a power four. I have a few of these uh, community balls which is a, a two three four which is actually helpful for me on the drive so I don't have to curl left I can just spin a little more left so I'm gonna try that um, on the last one I played with a power five you can play this with a Titan um, if you've got a higher level sniper absolutely you can play with it just a Titan um, you know if you've got like a, a sniper I think six or above uh, you should be safe you might have to, you know, stretch out a little bit and screw around with your adjustment. But this might be, uh, I, this might be uh, a smarter play for this account for sure, because the horizons can also give me about ten yards more distance. Um, so, and then this ball is pretty good for me because I can uh, get, see, I can get the max spin there. So max left four top. <clears throat> Get this yellow sort of up to up to here-ish. Let's try that. So three three, the wind arrow. <clears throat> I'm not into max, so I'm playing it uh, mid. So one point two. <clears throat> I might play just a just a touch of curl. About the same spot. <clears throat> so 322. So I think last time we were 324. So I'm gonna get my horizon ready. Okay, so we're gonna play this just like we've never seen it before. So see, my ball guide's already on the green, so we like that. So 2 2. I might even play this like a no spin shot. I'm gonna play uh, one right. Here, do I need so that's 
sort of where I want to be about about there. So that's uh, what is that? Something sort of like that. So that's two. It's about two rings. So we're two two. What do we say? Two two in that direction is is one. <laughs> so I'm not going to have enough time to turn it around. So I'll just play about one ring OP here. Ah, great, great. Right. Fucking just whenever I want to learn a shot, just can't hit it. Freaking perfect. So that weight is good. Um, I like that weight. Maybe even didn't need overpower. So that's definitely something to work with. So the great right, you know, on a horizon, uh, doesn't have much accuracy, so it, it goes more right. Um, I'm gonna, st I like that shot. If I hit perfect, I think I would have been pretty close. Maybe a little hot coming in. Okay guys, um, thanks for watching. I'm gonna be doing, I think, four rookie accounts. So this is the first one, the, the baby. And then, uh, you know, if you've got higher level clubs, um, I'll be doing some to follow. So thanks for watching.